Hi, everybody. Kathy Grosskirk here with Bookkeeping Clean and Simple, and I am doing a departure from my normal videos because I hadn't experienced this last two or three weeks with my kind of profile, profile, and quite frankly, I found it kind of distressing. And just want to say at the outset that I don't blame into it in any way, shape, or form. I think that the issues were probably some that they weren't where existed once I brought them to their attention. I think hopefully now I'm praying that they will be able to address the situation long term. But what I'm about to show you is what I went through to update my find a provisor profile and some of the ramifications from that. So that way, hopefully the issues won't happen with you. And I was watching a video the other day that I found on YouTube by Kate Johnson with the bookkeeping side hustle. And one of the things that I wanted to bring out of that is that she prescribed doing things in a particular order. Now, I'm not saying that doing these things in this particular order will help you alleviate a lot of the issues that I went through, but I just want to show you some of the things that could happen if you're going through this process and some of the things to look for. So anyway, that's kind of what the video I'm going to be doing today. I will provide a link to her video as well in the comments as well as in the description so you can watch it because she does a really good job of demonstrating that. Now, I'm not going to reinvent the wheel and demonstrate all that. I just want to share with you what happened to me and hopefully it won't happen to you. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started with the demo. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to my QBO. Okay, so you can see that I am in my QBOA realm, bookkeeping clean and simple. And I wanted to start this off by saying that I originally started this process because I had recently moved from Georgia, which is a state that assesses state income tax to Florida, which does not assess a state income tax. So obviously I wanted to get this done as soon as possible. So Georgia would not have any claims on any of my money. So one of the first things I did is I came over here to the letter K, which is what you click on to access your ProAdvisor profile and manage your Intuit account. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on where it says manage your Intuit account. And I can't honestly remember which one of these I did first. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on where it says manage your Intuit account. And as you can see, you've got various areas over here where you can click on. You've also got these various areas that you can click on. So if you click on personal info, you would think that if you click on that and updated the information there, which is what is here now is correct. When I first did it, then, you know, it, it, it was fine, except for later on when I talked to a support rep, she said that it did not show up on their back end, which I thought was kind of strange. But anyway, that's the only place where I updated it. If I click on overview again, one of the things I will tell you here is that you need to make sure not only to update that information there, but you've got to update your information for all your products, every single one of these. If you've got any of these that you need to, uh, that, that you're attached to your file, you need to update all those. And if you have any duplicated payments accounts or like a, in my case, I had two payments accounts, one that was inactive, but I never closed it out. I ended up finding out that that was another thing that kept us from or kept me from getting my profile republished until I went in and actually a updated the current payments account that I'm using with my current address and b closing out the other payments account that I was no longer using that was attached to my old desktop file that I was using to keep my records. So you need to make sure not only do you update your personal info, but you've got to update every single product that you are using, whether it be the desktop, the ProConnect tax payment account, all these other things you need to update. So that's one of the first things I want to recommend that you do. So I'm going to go ahead and click back on my profile tab and leave that other tab open. So when, once you do all that, you want to go ahead and click on the cog or the big gear icon or big or 
mama gear icon whatever you call that i don't know grid gear uh, you can go under subscriptions and billing but you can also go under company settings you need to make sure all that information over here is updated and all that matches and stuff like that if you have a company name that you're trying to change it, it's also going to um, ask you to to or if you can go in there and update that it it's going to here I'll go back here and I'll show you so that would probably be one of the last things you want to do so anytime you're doing all this you want to make sure you do all that before you actually go in here and try to update your profile so if you go over here to your provisor profile that would be the last page you want to update before you do anything else and the area that I'm talking about specifically is this area right here where you have your company name you have your which is mine is a, a, a DBA or a fictitious name and then you also have your address and your email account your um, I mean your web address your email account all this other stuff anything in here that you update you want to make sure you do that last before you do anything else because if if, if nothing matches on the back end then it's going to trigger an automated uh, verification system just as if you were publishing your profile for the first time and that's what happened to me somehow I got the steps out of order and it triggered where I had to go in there and do a verification I'm not going to do all that here because I don't want to mess anything up again because they've got it fixed the profile is published it's good and and I even say all this because I want you to understand that even if you go through the steps that I outline the problem is is that it may or may not fix the situation and you may end up still having to go through the verification process so if you still have to go through the verification process I want to tell you these things that you should do first off go through the steps that I outlined to update everything in all the other areas you're going to have to update your address and everything in several places uh, and then once you do that then you come back here and try to update what's in your profile you want to do that last and if you still get that triggering uh, where you have to update information and you get those generic responses saying that they need additional information or that uh, your your um, pro, uh, profiles or profile request has been denied or whatever that might be then keep documentation of everything and then the next thing you want to do is when you've done all that is to go through the help menu where you want to click on contact us and you're going to type in need help with pro advisor listing and, and, and of course you're probably going to put something more than that in there but what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and click on continue and then they're going to give you some quick answers which probably will not relate to what you put in there but what's important is that you're going to bring up this window where you can either do chat set an appointment do a callback or call them directly what I did is I started off with the chat I was able to figure out through the chat with the person that I connected with is that everything that I was showing in my screen was not showing on their back end because we did a screen share type of thing and I was able to demonstrate that so I ended up submitting all my documentation again through that I got another rejection so I ended up doing a I, I reached out and called them and was able to get someone right away and then some other things came up that did not come up in earlier searches so that's the other thing uh, I was getting emails saying that I needed additional information but they would not tell you in the emails why you were rejected they were not so I had no idea I thought maybe something with me had been inappropriate on my website so I did make a few tweaks I don't know exactly when I did that in between the chat or before the chat I don't know when that was so anyway document everything that you do and then if you have any issues after that if it doesn't get fixed after doing the chat or with phone support there's one more thing you can do I'm not going to talk about it in the video but if you are interested shoot me an email kathy at bookkeepingcleanandsimple.com i will be glad to tell you what i ended up having to do 
nobody should have to go through all these hoops so if you have any issues in the past or if you're currently going through this now put in the comments what your issues are i'll be glad to shoot that information back up to intuit and let them know what's going on so that way they can understand that this system needs to be fixed in some sort of way but again without them knowing what the problems are they can't fix it so and you can also submit through the feedback feature as well you always have the feedback feature you can always click on feedback and then put your feedback in there share a screenshot of the file that pertains to your situation and the more of us that do that the more serious weight that they put on that. So anyway, that's basically all I have for you today. Hopefully this will help someone out there. Again, if you have any issues with anything that you are going through, trying to update information and keep on getting rejected for your ProVisor profile, being republished, reach out to me, Kathy at bookkeepingcleanandsimple.com. I would love to help you get your situation straightened out. Have a wonderful day. See you soon. Take care, everybody, and also a great week. Bye. Thank you for watching. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and share it with others. My goal is to publish at least one new video per week on QuickBooks desktop or online topics, the occasional motivational video, and a few surprises thrown in here and there. I would love to talk to you about how to help you optimize your knowledge and usage of QuickBooks desktop or online. My Calendly link is in the slide. Please use that to reach out to me to schedule a free 45 minute initial consult. I would love to talk to you about your QuickBooks desktop or online training needs. Again, have a wonderful day and until next time, we'll see you soon. Take care.